Hey guys, what is up? It's Tuggy here today. Once again, welcome back to another weekly gaming news video. This is episode two, I believe. If you guys did enjoy my last episode, uh, basically with the weekly gaming news, is basically I'll be telling you guys about the newest and most interesting news throughout the week on gaming. And this is a brand new series I'm starting up, and this is actually the second episode. If you guys haven't seen the first episode, just go to my channel, it'll be there. I'll also put it into a playlist soon. So also guys, let's get into this week. I originally was not going to be making a weekly gaming news video for this week, because there's not that much news, but I decided why not do it, and talk to you guys about maybe the best news I could find. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. The first piece of news we got is again is the NES Classic Edition. If you guys didn't know about it. Nintendo did announce this Classic Edition last week, and it's basically just a remastered version of the NES. It's to be a mini version, and it's gonna have, include about 30 classic games for the NES library. Really, really cool because it's from 1980s, and you can play some of your old games on it. And basically, this week they did release a new trailer showing off the NES and showing off the original feels of it. So I can't unfortunately show you guys it in this video because it'd be copyright. But I will leave the link in the description box below so you guys can go check out the trailer for yourselves. It looks pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for these news. Let's go on to the next piece of news. All right, guys. The next piece of news we got is pretty interesting. NFL player blames his struggles on video game marathons. Uh, after getting picked 51st overall in the 2013 NFL Draft, cornerback David Amerson disappointed for two se seasons with the Redskins, and the team let him go two weeks into the 2015 season, and he did doubt his future in the league. The Oakland Raiders did pick him up, and his numbers did improve. He started 12 games and had four interceptions and defended 25 passes, and also was signed to a new contract. So what was his secret to improvement? He said not playing video games as much. He said during his conference call with CS and California, he said instead of going home and playing video games all night and stuff like that, it was a much different approach. I was going home and I was in my play book or watching film or looking at my notes or on whatever team we were playing that week. It was just little stuff. That's what football is. It's a game of inches. It just gave me the extra beat that I needed on Sunday to make the plays. So it was pretty interesting, I guess, by not playing video games, it did help him, and it does make sense to a point. So yeah, that's it for this piece of news. Alright guys, the next piece of news is pretty sad, and um, it is news about gaming, so I have to tell you guys about it. Always, there's always devastating news, even in gaming, so let's get started. So ProSkier dies during film shoot for Ubisoft's new game, Steep. Uh, professional extreme skier Matilda Rapport uh, passed away after she was caught in an avalanche while filming a promo for Ubisoft's new game. She was just 30 years old. Um, her Red Bull sponsor said that the avalanche occurred near the resort town of Farallones in Andes Mountain in Chile last week. She was taken to the hospital but died after suffering oxygen deprivation and brain damage. Uh, Matilda was an extraordinary athlete traveling the world to find her passion, write Steve Turan and share her bright smile, Red Bull said. And um, also Ubisoft released a statement on it. Um, they praise her courage, passion, and desire, and things like that. So this is pretty sad, uh, just filming something from a video game, but it, it all happens sometimes, guys. And I mean, just how life is, I guess, and it's pretty sad. Uh, all right, guys, the next piece of news is actually pretty pricey. It's a $200 Gears of War Elite Controller, which is now available to pre-order, which seems like a lot for a $200 controller. That's a lot. You can pre-order it now, of course, it's going to be limited and pre-orders are expected to go quickly and uh, the standard edition Xbox One Elite controllers were fine for a time, very difficult to find and now these are going to be difficult to find as well and um, it's kind of weird having a $200 controller, I mean it's custom but it is what it is, I wouldn't spend $200 on a controller whether it was modded or not but that's just my personal opinion maybe you guys want it as a collector's edition item or something uh you guys can go ahead and buy that but i will leave a link well i'll leave a link i will show you guys some pictures on the screen of what this controller is going to look like also the casing and all the other spare parts it's got so that's pretty much it for this all right guys next piece of news and now so the final piece of news we got and like i said there's not a lot of news out this week i wish i would have got you guys more but it's not a lot of, it's been a kind of a slow week on news so hopefully next week there will be more news for you guys and more interesting stuff for you so let's let's get into this final piece of news so the official xbox one stereo headset has been discounted to under 45 dollars um it was it was uh, has been heavily discounted on amazon 
the first part of your service is currently 38% off if you're interested. And um, this this was this headset I believe before did sell for eighty dollars. It's the random uh, well, it's not the generic brand, but it is the headset sold by Xbox One, and I think it's a pretty decent headset. So that's actually a really good deal, I guess, for a forty five dollars headset. That's pretty good. I will leave a link to you guys you can go buy in the description on Amazon because the price is really good right now, and you can get it. It has a microphone for clear voice capture and things like that. That's pretty much it for this guy. That's pretty much it for all the news. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the weekly gaming news. I'm sorry there was not that much news in this video. I wish I would have got more to you guys because there's not that much news out this week. And next week, hopefully, there is more news and I can find more stuff for you guys. But we'll see. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.